Hello and welcome to round two of this online championship with uh, QR Storm and Flint Pop accompanying me and we are here at Germany the Hockenheim ring for this round. Uh, this round it's actually my choice this week so uh, hopefully I'm looking for a good result and if we're already up uh, we will start into qualifying obviously one shot qualifying same as usual and uh, we will hope to see uh, some good races here there's a long straight of course which is a great opportunity for overtakes so hopefully uh, we'll get a good result from us and the AI. So yeah, um, just a recap. The last two races have been quite the, um, really closely contested between the three of us. Um, as you get away, it's qualifying. Wow. Um, as, for, I mean, this is already one of my least favourite tracks. And well, for it to be wet as well, it's not exactly the best. And wow, it's quite wet indeed. It's borderline wet tyres. Inters are only about a second faster. Yeah, you can see um, the game says it's full full, um, full rain with the three droplets. So this is going to be very hard, this qualifying. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, as I was saying, we've had some two really good races. Um, Shady Onyx was able to get the best result out of all of us in um, in China, um, which was my favourite track. So that was a big loss for me. But then I was able to come back um, with a P2 in Singapore. Um, but again, Shady Onyx being the most consistent with a fifth and a fourth place finish. Um, he's one point ahead of me at the moment. In, um, eighteen nine. Yeah. Oh, I'm um, nineteen five. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm not. And I thought that was all right. <laughs> right, I need to bring out like, the lap. But I just really hate this track. Did you, did any of you catch whether or not it'd be dry in the race or not? Yeah, full sun. Okay. But I think this is the first rain we've seen this grey mode, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's right. Fifty-eight six. Fifty-eight six. So I brought it back in second sector. Spa. I brought back six tenths. I'll take that. That probably means the AI is going to be well ahead of us because I I wasn't purple. But yeah, I mean, I, in, on games like F1 2017, I really was really good in the wet. Not so much in this game, but I still think being on the pads, there is a slight advantage for me in the uh, wet. 26 2 in the end. Oh, so you beat me in sector 3, I did a 26 5. Where'd you come? 6. Okay, that's I not came, awful. I came 7th. Flim pop? I Ooh. came 20th. I don't know how to drive in the wet. Ooh. Oh. Unlucky. Yeah, the Red Bull. Normally it's quite good in the wet, but I suppose if you're quite new to it in this game, it is quite hard. Oh, you just looked out to Verstappen. Unlucky. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Sort of in no man's land. Ricardo, not a bad qualifying from him. He's done worse. So we are just outside the top five, which mm. is pretty much uh, a constant throughout this career. Because mm. obviously we Ash has the Red Bull. So do you think we're all going to start on the mediums for the ultra? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm going to start on the mediums. All right, I'll go with it as well. Well, you know what, I might, I don't know, I'm still in two minds, because I, I, my strategy I thought worked quite well in Singapore, but... No, if you think I, it's I, faster, you can take it. Now it's your opportunity. <laughs> I'm not, if I started in the top three, I would definitely go for my strap, but starting seventh is probably beneficial to do what you guys are doing. I won't try to, you know, Ray? prove you guys wrong. Right, lights out, and away we go for round three. Oh, I've mugged you off the line again. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Yeah, you got you take set, turn one much better than I do. I just took it really cautiously. Gosh, you've already mugged a few people into... Right, let's see if I can get a good run of the stuff. Go on, get the close slipstream. Oh my gosh, I'm actually able to overtake somebody in a straight line. Oh, feels good. I, I mean, we've been moaning about our engine the whole season, Shannon Hicks and myself, so I can only imagine what Limpop's been going through. Oh, Verstappen held it around the outside of me and Bottas. Oh, Impressive. yes, he's dropped away, so I should uh, not get attacked too much now. Come on. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go for a bold move. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Opposition, the unflint pop. 
Alright, 18. Nice. Few places off the start. Well, I've lost the place at the start. Have you? Yeah, it could be out, took me. Uh, oh, so look at that. The bottom of the staff have completely got me back. Do you mean they're close to you or? Yeah. I just can't take turn one. Turn one's horrible for me. That's why I made my game. Yeah, six tenth. I would have been ahead of you in a voice. So I pulled back six tenths in sector two. Yeah. Oh, I've got magnet came mag right behind me as well. As long as oh, I stay God. within the top six, I should be good for the second stint. I'm really not focusing today. I was in neutral at one point on that happen. I wonder why I wasn't getting in drive. Wait, you take that in first gear? Yes. I can't take it in first, I'll just spin. I've taken second. Yeah, medium versus no traction, I suppose. Yeah, could be able to gap me. I have no pace today. Especially on these tyres. I can push these tyres so hard because I know that I'm going to have to keep up with these guys. And to be honest, the tyre weight isn't too bad. It, it gets high, but it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, keep it so far ahead. Okay, so Leclerc's dropped off the front two, and I've managed to close up to him. Wait, Vettel's in the lead? Yeah. Oh, could big be up the German. First, uh, good result. Yeah, big up the German on this home track. Maybe that theory we had was real. Yeah, you know, I think Shadow Nix and I had a theory that home advantage, you know, on this game. Because it showed for a lot of drivers like Perez and Vettel, and yeah, even some on. drivers like Hulkenberg, where we wouldn't expect a great result from him, but he still managed to pull through something. I don't put him under pressure. I'm, I'm driving as Hulkenberg at the moment. <laughs> <sighs> and I'm definitely not going to have a good race. But I don't know. I, th I think I... I had, had a good enough race at Singapore for me to just be able to relax a bit and just bank something like a P7. Yeah, that's the good thing about this series. We've all got four tracks that we know we like, so it's a fairly equal footing. Yeah, and I have four tracks that I know I hate in this series as well. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose we'll all sort, sort of people in that regard. I'm beginning to close in Kvyat. Flint pop an update. Oh, sorry, what's second? P14. Nice. Well, I'm going to him. He's only six positions behind me now. Okay, right, so come four, on. fifth, and six are fighting, so that's interesting. Oh, this feels so nice. I'm not the slowest engine on the grid. I just blitzed past Kvyat. So all that problem I had of like you know not getting the win in Singapore when I had it in my grasp because I just didn't have the engine behind me in the final lap. It's all gone now. <laughs> yeah. I'm surrounded by two Hondas at the moment. Just happened in front and Kvyat behind. So. I literally feel like a god at the moment. What's your gap to Verstappen? Big. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this split because I only just got Kvyat back. And being stuck behind Kvyat has lost me two and a half seconds. Oh, not as much as I thought, actually. I think it helps that you all sort of... Actually, you're ahead of three of them, so maybe you can... Not hold them up, but back them up a bit into me. I might have a chance of coming back towards the end of the race. Because you might be able to win. Hopefully. If I can stick with Hamilton and Vettel, I should be in a great position for the second stint. Right, I've gaps, could be out, so I actually have some pace. I think it's a good time as well, because I'm I imagine Flint Pop's already up into P13, P12. Bottas has got back into my DRS, which is not good. Flint Pop, you look like you're about to overtake a four senior, is that for P13? Yeah, four P13. Oh my gosh, Sainz is again best of the rest. Like, he can't script this, he's just got to be out. Nice. I don't know where my teammate is. Like, my teammate's nothing this series. Like, I, I'm just going to have to chill out for P5 and Constructors and see if I can 
do some work in if the drivers. If science does well and I get some good results, we, we might actually be able to challenge Red Bull for third. You keep saying that, but like, you know, towards the end of the season, I think Flimpop will be a title contender. So, like, you really need to get a long way ahead of Flimpop because Verstappen's going to outperform science every race. Yeah. So you're gonna, you've got an uphill battle if you want to beat Red Bull or Ferrari. But the thing is, it's really Yash versus Sainz at the moment. At the moment. But that's only, but like, you know, it's only because he's started at the back two times. Yeah, that's true. And, like, on the other time, he had a guaranteed win and he decided to drive into... Well, well you're unfamiliar with the pits, pit entry in Singapore and you ended up losing about 15 seconds. So the Kler's really dropped back. He's coming into your clutches. Yeah, I, I think you just noticed surprising. that. And Hamilton's all over the back of Vettel, so I, I don't know, the Ferraris have just been really lackluster all season. So, even so it looked like Vettel was having a chance, I don't think he's going to be able to hold on. Because remember, like, Leclerc was at the front in China for, for a decent amount of time. And then he just got completely swamped by the Mercedes. Because, I don't know if Cody coded this in, but didn't Mercedes like, have better tire wear in the 2019 season? Yeah. Or something. Yeah, they were, to, they were to manage their tyres a lot better than Ferrari. But then Ferrari had that engine power advantage, so it kind of equaled out. Mm. Ferrari just didn't have the reliability. Oh, they're in the pits. Already? Yeah. That's really early. Their soft's probably going off. What lap are you going to put on? Lap 9? Uh, 11, apparently. Might be 11. 10. Interesting. What's mine? Lap 10 to 20. I love it when it says lap 10 to 20. Like, is it like right? lap 20? <laughs> yeah, mine says 11 to 21. Oi. <laughs> oh, Flint Pop, are you alright? Yeah, don't worry, I died. Well, that puts me under a bit less stress because you're probably going to catch me at the rate you were going. Hey, who did you try to overtake? Um, I was behind you and Nazi, and I died. Yeah, I think I should be able to get top six then, because Leclerc is going to come in the fire. I might even be able to salvage a top five, because Verstappen will be vulnerable towards the end. But I think you, you, um, you the Mercedes and Vettel will be a bit out of reach by the looks of things. Especially after that poor start. Oh, Leclerc's in. Oh my god, your gap's huge to me. Seven seconds. Oh my god, I keep running wide that corner. What, you got warnings? No. Because I'm, I'm taking it so slowly that I don't get warnings. Uh, like, I completely lift off, and even then, I can't get the turn in. Like, you only get warnings if you extend and you gain time, but I, I'm losing so much time by going wide. Oh, first lock up for a while. Okay, that was only seven seconds behind me. Oh my god, oh, there's a, uh, there was a crash on the track. And you were involved in it again? I hit Kvyat. That's rare. Oh, it's been it... pretty awful race. Wait, so the, the AI took each other out and you got... I'm not your... sure what happened, so um, the AI was behind me. I went into the first corner and then... I, I, I don't know what happened. I think they tapped me or something. Oh, I thought there was an AI in the middle of the track and you hit him. <laughs> Right. I can't even get up into gear. Okay, that's my first warning. I can't even get up into gear eight, let alone drop down back into gear seven. I, I'm trying to, you know, I, I don't know. I, I might have to start taking gear six now, which is risky. Oh god, I'm really all over the place. Yeah, I think you got the win in the bag. Vettel's closing. Still going to have to fight Hamilton and Vettel, but it should have the better tyres. So.
Do I risk it and pit this up? I don't think you'll make... Oh yeah, you could make this off last. But you'll struggle towards the end of the race, so... No, I, I, I don't want to. I want to bank a top five. I think I'm going to pit lap ten. I don't want to struggle on tyres. Because, especially on a track like this, it's so easy to spin out on the turn one. Oh, oh my controller disconnect me as well. Just when you thought friend box race couldn't get any worse. Yeah. My car just stayed straight to the left. I'm so scared into turn one now. I don't even know. Like any vibration in my controller, I just I completely abort and just go straight on. I'm still going only a tenth slower than my best in the first sector. So I'm keeping the pace. Hopefully that will mean I can gap. I literally lose like a second in each first sector. Yeah, I lose six tons to Vettel in the first sector. Like what? Wow, Vettel completely gapped Hamilton. That's not what I expected. I mean, the top five are really spread out, which might help me. Because, like, yeah, if they, they were on the DRS train, then. Yeah. Each other. I nearly forgot to go into the pits. I wasn't sure where I was going to go this lap or next, but I decided this is better. Release, release. I nearly had to do a Hamilton 2018. Okay, so how many pits am I going to lose? Pit strategy complete. See these oh, times. Oh, come on, third. Nice. I've come out where I expected to come out. Wow, you managed to jump Bottas and Verstappen. Yeah. That's I was huge. already ahead of them, but um, I managed to keep it, which is the insane thing. Oh my gosh, it, like, top seven is just so guaranteed in this game. Yeah, should be pit at least. I'm going to pit, I think, next lap, Oh no, you're in trouble then, because you're already at the back. It's, it's, I mean, this race is basically gone for me. I probably won't do anything. Because like, normally, like, you can still make 20 seconds of mistakes and you should still be able to salvage top 8. But it looks like you're beyond saving at the moment. Oh my god, Crow's on P8. He just overtook Sainz. No! Come on, Sainz. Oh, I'm making a few lockups. Not good. How close am I to the plot? Please be less than three seconds. Yes, two point six. I'm still taking first one so timidly. I, I spun out three times this, like, like four or five times in the league race around here. <laughs> just, just on that first corner. So, like, I know it's. Like, I'm only gaining a tenth in the first sector on these guys. Oh, you've already got Hamilton. I haven't, he just shoved me off. have to wait another lap. But to be fair, I'm saving the RS, so it's fine. from the third that sector. Nice. I don't think I'll be able to get Verstappen over all that. Oh no, second morning. So not only do I have to worry about spinning out in turn one, I also need to worry about <laughs> corner cutting. That's annoying. It's one Oh, I got Hamilton now, he just completely got me back. 
maybe Vettel might have a chance in glory. I think Ferrari really need this. Uh, they're 50 points adrift at Mercedes at the moment. And what better place to start turning the tides than Mercedes home track. Um, do you only get a fastest lap if you're inside the top 10? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame, and I was thinking we'd go for it. I'll go for it anyway. <laughs> Why? That will take a point. Okay, fine. That's so rude. <laughs> so if he gets it, does that mean I don't get the point, Dylan? Yep. That's so stupid. I mean, I'm probably not going to get it. I really don't like this track. Though. Um, you be both. You be both. Oh, I think I'm getting lapped. Oh! Okay. Yash, watch out. Actually, you're ghosted at least. What was your lap, Jamie? Um, 15-6. Easily, easily beatable. Because my first sector is so poor. Thank you, Flimpop. Hopefully this is the only race in the season where that has to happen. Oh, Verstappen's being... Oh, he's on hard. He's been mugged by his team. Oh, this is going to be free top five. This is going to be free. Because not only am I on the back of the clone now, Verstappen's about to get overtaken by Turk because he's been completely done by his team. So yeah, I mean, Verstappen has so much more pace in the clone this race, but... This team just... I don't know what Red Bull are doing. They're meant to be good with this strategy. I put him on the hards. Oh, what's annoying though, I'm going to have to go through turn one in right behind the closed dirty air. Yeah, that's way out of reach. Seconds. Yeah, you've got faster slap by the looks of things again. But that means you've got at least one other faster slap. I think yeah, Flimpot might have had one faster slap in China, but you definitely Singapore. had the He had Singapore. Well, he had Singapore as well? Yeah. He's on the strap, remember? Yeah, but so are you. No. In Singapore, oh. you. Oh yeah. I think you had fastest lap in Singapore, and he had it in China. Okay, Verstappen's gonna get double overtaken. That Honda's really bad. Can I get both on this straight? Come on! Oh, look, I could just outbreak me in that Ferrari, and yeah, he's gonna hold it even on the older tyres. I think. Oh no! Look at the traction on the new tyres. Oh yes. And now I'm up into P5 on my worst track this season, I think. That's a result. Right, let's see how quickly I can gap them. Whoa, what's going on here? Flimpop? <laughs> I mean, at least, you'll go at least they ghost lap cars, I suppose, but... Wow, okay. <laughs> I thought the stab one was coming back at me for some reason. So Flimpop's just got so much pace that he's unlapped himself. And he just dropped me already. <coughs> that rebel's insane. Look at oh my god! Look at that lap. He's just, oh, yes. Why would you do that? I mean, it helps me out. Thank you. Oh, I lost so that's, much. Time that's someone a dumb play. Oh, I lost so much time into turn one, and Leclerc's got me back. No. Oh, it's the penultimate lap as well. So all I need to do is. Right, I can get him in the straight, so maybe I can just, you know, play it smart, let him get me before into someone like he did that lap, and then get him back on the straight. If I play this smart, I should be able to hang on to P5. I didn't even realise it's lap 16. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flimpop's completely flying at the moment. Did you pit again? No, you didn't. You've only pit once, I think. So you just managed to find pace with those tyres, I suppose. So not only is the ultra OP, you basically get a free point if this nobody else goes for it. Oh my god, the first going to try to take me to turn one. And go ahead, buddy. Oh my god, I lose so much time because I just don't get on the throttle. Okay, Verstappen might get me now. Not good. But I should be able to get the Ferrari back on the straight. 
because I managed to do it last lap. It's not like Singapore where I've got a really high downfall setup. You can say, oh no, I might have let Leclerc go. I might have let Leclerc go. Can I get him? It's going to be tight. He's going defensive. Did I make the right call? Do I tires still have the grip over his? On the outside, can I get the traction down? Yes, I can. Go on. Yes, this could be it. Oh, you got Vettel. Nice. Yeah. You didn't even tell me about that. Oh, no, I just got him now. I was waiting for the last lap. Nice. Way to ruin the Ferrari's party. Dad into to injury. I've just got Leclerc back again. But yeah, you're going to gap me in the championship with that win. All right, park the bus, please. God, seriously. Woo. Nice. Please don't do anything, look, look. Oh, first win for one of us in the season. Yeah. Oh, this is a, I, I think I'm going to start doing all Grosjean now. This is a win for us. This uh, is a win. D5. Oh, oh my God. That was, I, I, that was the best I could have hoped for. I, as I said, Metal, the Mercedes, and yourself were untouchable. So the best I could hope for was to gain on Leclerc. Verstappen would have been clear, but Red Bull screwed up his strategy. And um, yeah, as a result, I was able to close in right to him. Um, and yeah, he lost out to Leclerc as well. So we were both able to get Verstappen on the straight. And then I realized it was lap 16 out of 17. So as I'm so slow in the first corner, I just let Leclerc buy both times. Because, well, not intentionally, but... I, I was so slow that he would get me into turn one anyway. And um, yeah, I was able to get him back on the the long straight. So without further ado, this moves us on to the um, the standings, um, the race standings. And you can see Shady Onyx wins from sixth on the grid with Three the old strap. was the gap in the end, well. Um, I mean, I might have been able to get fourth, I think, at very best, if I didn't get held up behind Kvyat at the beginning. But even that's a stretch. I just didn't have the pace today. And um, Fifth yeah, I mean, is still I very good for a track you hate. Yeah, like this is my worst track, and I mean, you only dropped me by four seconds in the last stint. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I really struggled to get past the Hamilton battle. I mean, I, I had to get past way in my time. But, yeah, I had to get past Leclerc and Verstappen, but yeah. yeah, well, congrats on the win, Shady Onyx. I mean, it was one of your picks, and you've made full use of it. So that's all you can really ask for there. Um, Sebastian Vettel started second. Finishes second, upset Hamilton, and for the first time, Hamilton does not get a win in this career mode. He's won the last two races because I couldn't stop him um, last time out in Singapore. Um, I sort of regret that now because I should have been more brutal with him. <laughs> you know what? I Good points for the McLaren with Carlos Sainz best of the rest. So he's yeah, he going to beat hold up for the end of the day. No! Oh, oh he was one away. Oh, one Ricardo away. Ricardo's been like last the last two races, so I suppose that's a result for him. But Perez oh, very slow. Why can't do an okay stroll out performing Perez for once mm. that we've never seen before really? Russell yeah. so doing it, quite well in the Williams, outperformed Gio and Gavia. So um and we're gonna just move on to the driver's standings now and um I don't know, it should have been shaken up quite a bit by the looks of things. And maybe maybe see where the constructors lie as well. So, without further ado, so you go back into the standings. Hamilton's lead has been knocked a bit by Shady Onyx's win. Um, as you can see, 65 points to 48. He still has a commanding lead, but not as commanding as it was before. Fortas with that P4 will slump down to um, P3 in the standings as Shady Onyx overtakes him um, to move into P2. Vettel, again, a very good result from him. Um, and he cements himself to be the Ferrari's number one driver, even so that was definitely aided by Leclerc. Um, basically um, retiring last race from a podium position. So hopefully Leclerc can bounce back. But even with that, I mean, he wouldn't find himself too far ahead of Vettel. So Vettel's definitely put himself um, in a better position um, after this race, especially as he had really some poor performances um, in both China in, and Singapore. Um, I myself find myself in P5 in the championship now um, as Vettel overtakes me. Again, if I just secured that win. to see Verstappen so low down after the few races we've done. I expected him to be really challenging second or third, not like six. There's not much, now. yeah. There's not much you can do in that Red Bull, I suppose. Yeah. But um, yeah, Red Bull, very poor point tool today. Um, so hopefully they can bounce back. 
And um, yeah, Leclerc, again, hopefully he can bounce back as well because he's been struggling. Yeah. Um, Pop still finds himself best at the moment. Um, however, towards the end of the season, he should be able to come back very strongly. Just Germany not really being the best track for him. And um, I think it's just important on tracks like this where, I mean, I really hated it. It's just you need to be really careful because like, as long as you don't make any mistakes and like, it, it, I could have probably even gone in full traction and still got inside the top eight because there's such a disparity between signs and Leclerc um, that you're pretty much guaranteed top eight if you don't make a mistake. And yeah, both Haas drivers, um, a long way off signs who's been really um, the classes of his, his own really. Considering that only really ninth and tenth are to play for when you have a top eight so strong, yeah, he made the most of his opportunity. I think he was best of the rest in China um, with a P9, and then he picked a P7 in Singapore, which is a tremendous result for him. And then another P8 here. So um, now he was yeah. tenth. He was tenth in uh, China, oh, yes. mm. and then he was seventh, beating Flynn Pop actually in Singapore, and then obviously today eighth. And that's given so, us a great point haul in the constructors. McLaren really jumping ahead of both Red Bull and wow. Ferrari to take second place. Only by two points, to be fair. But uh, completely jumping Red Bull, because I think it was 30 to 31 before this race. Yeah. Obviously, Mercedes having an extremely strong race and uh, moving lead, far, yeah. far ahead. Um, so right. it's very clear that they're going to win the constructors. But the battle for P2 is actually... Uh, still up in the air because obviously yeah. we know Flynn Pop will come back towards the end of the season so he's gonna have to help to make that uh 20 point deficit disappear and mm. McLaren uh no not McLaren Renault actually fairly close to Red Bull as well with a good points haul today yeah, and actually it's surprising that um Haas are ahead of it. Racing Point yeah I the, the Haas have been very good yeah they've been very good the Haas Jew. and um yeah, I'm th I think Renault are going to find themselves in no man's land in P5 unless Ricardo really starts bringing the fight to signs. Because so I think towards the... I mean, I can I can definitely bring the fight to Shadionix in, in, in the um yeah, in terms of the championship. Especially with some of my better races coming up. So um, I, I think... I'm, well, what race have we got up next? We've got Russia next, which is one of um, um, Flint Pop and my picks. So um, that would definitely be a really good race. And I know Shadionix is a bit weaker there. Yeah, but, Russia's I mean, not going to be a great race for me. So, um, yeah, without further ado, um, we'll probably end it here. Hopefully, um, you enjoyed that race. And congratulations again for Shady Onyx for his first win of the season. And as a result, he's really now in the fight um, for the championship. So hopefully something interesting can materialize in the coming weeks.